Okay, the next tutorial videos will be on the Battle Zoa, which generally follows on from the Green Hills of Tyrol. Um, once again, um, a great tune, but only if played well, with good, robust, rhythmical technique, making sure every beat is in position, and making sure that it's played on a nice, melodical bagpipe, one that's in tune. Shandabro Briera Antro An Shambadro Prietara Handro Shandabra Briam Pantro An Shandabra Trieto Hagwan Again, got to repeat Mark, so we play the first part and the second part twice over. Okay, so the tune starts in a similar fashion uh, for beat one and the introduction notes uh, as the Green Hill. So we've got Jean de Bra. Long, short grip to C. And then a doubling on high A. Nice, make sure it's on the beat. And you're blowing your high A nicely and it's banging in tune. Jean de Bra, Bri. Don't fall onto this half double on F before you're supposed to. Handabra Briro So that takes us up into the second beat in bar two. Shandabra Bri even even long long. Okay, the next the next sequence. So, G grace not on low A, up to B, grip to C, E doubling with a dot on it, short C, make sure it's short but also audible, Hiniyatara, which sets you up with a nice, solid and crisp B doubling. Hiniyatara, an E grace note to low A and a nice ripple effect grip to B. And remember, that's held for two beats, as it's a minimum. Okay, so that's the, the note head that's not coloured in. Hini yatara handro. Now, when we're on bagpipes, make sure that we blow that nice and steadily. Any any long notes, really, when we're playing on the bagpipes, we should try our best to try and blow through those long notes instead of taking a breath, because it will always sound steadier if we're blowing instead of squeezing. And we don't want to take a, a breath halfway through. So we all, I always try and ask my pupils to try, where possible, on long notes, to start blowing just before you hit that note and to, to sustain it the whole way through the note. Shandabra briro antro an Shandabra triyatara an grab Shandabra briam pantro an so make sure that we've got the correct grace note sequence and that we're placing them bang on the beat. For instance, that G grace note on the third uh, beat of bar two and line two. And stretch out that dotted note. Long, 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 long. And again, make sure we get a nice... Grace note sequence in the last couple of uh, bars. Okay, so we're with that, we're looking for a solid E doubling, short C, G grace note to B, D grace note up to C, and remember this note's short, so as soon as we go to C, we're back down to low A with a strike. Ho hagwan, ho hagwan, ho hagwan. So the first part twice over sounds something like this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so remember, try and use your embellishments to your advantage by making them as rhythmical as you can. Please, when you're even practicing this tune on, on practice chanter, to bear in mind what you want it to sound like on bagpipes. Okay, so again, a great tune, everything in position, good technique, and when on bagpipes, you're playing it all as in tune as you can. So enjoy learning the first part of the Battle Zor. Well done.